Hi everybody, it's Heather Parrott. Um, this is my, um, what's, oh, it's March already. Yeah, so this is my third installment for the Case of Card collab. So we case a card in any current Stampin' Up! catalog. So Celebration just um, finished on February 28th. So I chose to case a card out of the mini catalog. And the card I'm casing is on page 35. And I chose this card right here. And the thing I liked about this card was um, the elements on either side of your sentiment and then the white space. That's that's the layout that I chose. I don't have the Dahlia Days bundle. I used all different products. Um, actually, mostly retired products. But you'll get the idea. You, you can do this with any, you know designer series paper or stamps or whatever but that's the layout that I chose um, so um, what did I use I use the true love designer series paper this is no longer you know available it was last year's but I love this paper and what I did was I just I fussy cut out a bunch of flowers even the edge pieces because on this card the edge pieces actually came in quite handy. Um, I used a mint macaron card base and then that was eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter and then a piece of basic white I layered on top with um, a layer of basic black. Um, this card is very simple. Um, my sentiment came from uh, peaceful moments and I use the happy birthday because I am always needing birthday cards um, rhinestones came from the holiday rhinestone basics basic jewels these are found in the annual catalog and I use the it's either pool party or coastal cabana um, it doesn't list the colors on here so but they are in the annual catalog um, I also brought in nature's beauty I use the dotage stamp which I seem to pull a lot. Um, that's one of my favorite background stamps. Um, and that's pretty much it. So, very simple card. Um, I'll show you the card again that I um, chose on page 35. And this is my card. So you can see it's the layout is fairly similar, but it looks totally different so I like I said I just I cut out a bunch of flowers um, and I glued them down and then I colored them in and then I used uh, dark gray granite for the center of my flowers and then I used light and dark mint macaron for my flowers I brought in Wink Estella and I just only ran the Wink Estella over the leaves because I did not color the leaves, but I added sparkle to those. Um, I added my rhinestones, my sentiment, and my dotage. And then I just glued everything together. And then I just chose a strip of um, the flower paper for the bottom of my card. And that's it. But like I said, this would be this would be great done in like do a whole bunch, but switch up the colors, petal pink. Um, you know, the in colors would look really nice with this, um, balmy blue, just so saffron, just switch it up and make a whole bunch of different colors. I'm probably going to do that for my markets. Um, every card that I've made with this paper has sold. It's been, you know, I wish I had bought another pack of it, but that's my installment for March of 2022 for a case of card um, collab. Thank you everybody for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye.